What does big data mean to customers, in your view? Well, the best way to you know, talk about big data is to, is to give examples. Because it's a new term. Uh, there wasn't kind of a, you know, you look, go look up big data in a dictionary, I don't think you get, you know, a definition. Uh, but, to, but to kind of, by example, big data would be the mass amount of data that an oil company, geoseismic data, would, would uh, accumulate when it's exploring for new, new sources of oil, new wells, right? Um, this would be data that the, the healthcare industry generates in packs for, for MRI and future uh, tests that will be done non-invasively. Uh, this is data that supports the rendering of video and 3D movies and things that take up huge amounts of information. So those are like several examples. Uh, there's many, many more. Uh, the, big, the big thing to think of is this is kind of petabyte scale almost from the start, and it's going to grow in huge chunks to multi, multi, multi petabytes. And how do you handle that, manage that, store that differently, more economically, more efficiently? But it's different kinds of data. It, it, it's not made to be, you know, kind of processed in a transaction with so many IOs per second. That's not the way you think about this data. Uh, so it has different texture to it, and we've done both on the Atmos site organically and the acquisition of Isilon have, you know, two of the best technology, the two best technologies to address that and new plum, phenomenon. Right? And Green Plum does analytics on big data. Yeah. So, so it's, it's like you're surrounding, you're, you're circling the wagons yeah. here and, and, and well, really we, going we after We think that. we see something, yeah. and that's what winning is all about, is recognizing something first. All right, Joe Tucci, we're here at the analyst meeting. Thank Thanks you. a lot for spending some time with us. Good to see you. Appreciate it. Thank nice you. to see you. All right, that was Joe Tucci. And uh, he just left the analyst call and uh, talked a little bit about uh, the direction of EMC. He was talking about um, the, where EMC has come in the last several years. He joined EMC in 2002. The company was a $2 billion company. Uh, sorry, a $5.2 billion company. And now uh, the consensus from analysts is EMC will be a $17 billion company. And he talked about how it's changed from, from basically a storage company. EMC's revenue is well over 50% from storage and how that changed in, in terms of becoming uh, information management and then uh, information life cycle management, bringing on more software and then information infrastructure and now the journey to the private cloud. And the key to EMC strategy is obviously VMware. EMC owns VMware. Uh, it maintains an 80% ownership in VMware. He talked about that uh, as a, a key part of the strategy. He talked about the waves of information technology. We've seen from mainframe to PC to internet, and now we're seeing the journey to the private cloud and the journey to the cloud computing era, and Joe Tucci's premise is that that will bring new players. It always has. Every time we've seen these waves, it's brought new players, new leaders, and, uh, and he intends to make EMC and VMware one of them. Uh, this is Dave Vellante reporting from the Sheraton in New York City and Manhattan.